What's up everybody and welcome to today's video. So, as I'm sure a lot of you guys who are watching this video know, the Stark Net Testnet has been up for a while now. And I just wanted to make a little guide basically for those of you who are kind of new to Stark Net about uh, some things you can do in order to get yourself maybe qualified for some uh, future upcoming airdrops that um, might happen. As always with airdrops, uh, nothing's confirmed, you know, everything uh, runs off rumours and speculation and you know sometimes those end up being true and sometimes not but yeah so the first thing you're going to need to do if you want to use the, the stack net is you're going to need to create a, a wallet on Argent X. Now this is quite easy these guys have a extension that can be used on either Chrome or Brave browser so if you're using either Chrome or Brave then you can go ahead and install this on your uh, browser and then you can see it pop up in the in the top corner now what you want to go ahead you want to go ahead and open that and then just follow the instructions on there it's pretty straightforward as functions just like any other hot wallet so just uh, you know create your account it will then ask you to note down your, your seed phrase and uh, yeah and it'll bring you up a page that looks uh, something similar to this here with your account it'll show you your assets and you know just like a normal wallet would anyway now what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and log yourself into the uh, Startgate testnet so it will prompt you to connect your MetaMask account and then once you've done that it will then ask you to connect with your Startnet wallet so you want to go ahead and click that and then wait for the confirmation and there we go so now you can see that my MetaMask wallet is logged in and also my Argent X wallet is also connected at the same time now in order to uh, complete this guide you are going to need some testnet ethereum now if you haven't already got some testnet ethereum then you are going to go ahead and need to use a uh, faucet for that so so as you can see here stacknet do have their own faucet and all you need to do is you need to paste your ethereum address into there send the request and as long as there is some ethereum in the faucet ready to be sent then you should be good and you should have yourself a small amount of uh, ethereum, testnet ethereum here now what you want to go ahead and do is then you want to go ahead and use their bridge so you want to bridge that from the layer one to the layer two stack net here um, you do this by uh, transferring so you want to put the amount that you want to put in um, say for example we want to put 0 0.01 and then you just want to go ahead and transfer that over and then metamask will prompt you then to Confirm the transaction. And there we go. So the transfer is in process. Uh, as usual with layer one to layer two, this could take um, a while to go through. So just because you get a confirmation, it says it's gone through, you won't be able to see a balance then for maybe, you know, another five to 10 minutes at least. There we go, as you can see it's gone through on ether scan. Uh, here we go, it says, the starting of transfers can take up to several hours uh, depending on the congestion for me yesterday this um, uh, this only took about 10 minutes but yeah we've already got some stack net on my um, on the layer 2 then there's no need to wait so then, yeah you can go ahead and you can use that on multiple different um, uh, decentralized exchanges swaps um, you know NFTs and everything so we'll just give some examples of what you can do to kind of increase your chances of maybe getting some air jobs uh, further down the line so here's one of the swaps, my swap, that you can use. So just go ahead and uh, select some of the tokens. I've got some TWETH and some, some test token. I've got one token, something like that. I, know. I haven't got one. Uh, I want to receive one token. And, and you can go ahead and make a swap. Most of these swaps also do have pools. So, you know, you can make your transactions and then you can also go into the pool. Uh, as you can see here, I already did this. So I already pulled together some testnet token and TWEF. Uh, you can go ahead and create some liquidity in there as well. Same for Jedi Swap. Uh, if we go over on to trade, again, these guys have got a faucet. So you just want to click Mint Jedi Test Tokens. And then you can go ahead and play around with all these different tokens that they've got. You can go ahead and make some swaps. And the same thing here as well, these guys have some pools. Uh, so you want to click add liquidity there in the top corner. And then from then you can pair some of those um, Jedi Swap tokens together. And they have a staking coming soon as well. So after that you can also play around with some NFTs at a website called Brick Construction. 
And here you can basically just create some crazy brick shapes, um, you know, and then from that you can then mint this as an NFT. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and then list it on Mint Square. And you know, it's just different websites that you can interact with and stuff like that. These uh, could all be taken into consideration for uh, future uh, airdrops. Another website is X Bank here. So these guys again, the uh, you know a lending platform. So you can go ahead and um, you can lend your ETH to the platform. You can also borrow different um, tokens as well. This is all on the test net for now. So say for example, you can see here I've already deposited uh, 1.5 die. Um, you know I could go ahead and do this for USDC as well. Um, maybe I'll just refresh the page just before doing that. Um, yeah, I'm connected. Got some die in there. Maybe want to do. So you'd have to enable the USDC and then afterward deposit the amount that you wanted to deposit. Same for same for borrow here. And yeah, just just kind of interact with the um, website now. In order to get some DAI and some USDC, because normally using all the other faucets that we've talked about, you won't be able to get DAI and USDC. It's pretty simple. You want to go ahead and go over onto this website here. I'll put a link. To, I'll put this exact link in the description of the video. And then if you go onto X Bank's um, white paper and scroll down onto how to acquire testnet tokens, it gives you the addresses here of USDC and DAI. So you want to go and paste them into. Um, you just want to go to write contract and then request funds. You're going to paste those addresses in there, press transact. Maybe we'll do that with one of them now just to show you. Uh, give me some more USDC. Put those in there. You want to transact. I'm not sure actually I'm still connected. You have to make sure that, yeah, so one second. Connect wallet. Refresh the page, sorry. There we go. I'm connected and there we go. And normally that's going to give me free USDC uh, in my wallet once the transaction's gone through. Let's go back to X Bank. Um, so I did have free USDC and we could see that now go up in a second. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So. That's a way for you guys to create your wallet on Argent X, which is what the, the main wallet is going to be used on the on the stack net. Then how to bridge your funds over from layer one to layer two, and then a bunch of different uh, protocols that you can you can test out, and which you never know in the future could make you eligible for some um, some future airdrops. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video, guys, like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I will also put a link to my Discord community in the description of the video, so you can come over there and join us, guys, to get some information before I end up making videos about it. And uh, yeah, so thanks for listening, guys, as always. Until next time, bye.